whenever you're doing a session whenever you're doing whenever you plan to do a webinar whenever when you're planning to start an online business or create a course or create a content one challenge that you will be facing is how can i connect to the audience how can i make them understand what i'm going to say so in this video we are going to talk about three coolest videos mm -hmm. three coolest uh, ways to connect with the audience uh, which will help you to make them understand what you are saying you got that so whenever you whenever you're communicating through a piece of content video blog or podcast whatever that is a course whatever that is how can you make sure that they understand what you're saying that's the whole point like if they're not understanding what you're saying uh, it's, it, it doesn't make sense so we are going to talk about three coolest ways the first one goes by sharing your story so for example if, if for example if you're talking about opportunities for example if you're talking about talents for example if, if you're talking about how can you take risk for example if you're talking about how did i learn so and so thing how uh, how do you do how do you dip, dip, dive deep into that particular topic whenever you're talking about any piece of content connect that idea that topic that content anything that one part with a story your personal story it could be the places that you failed it could be the places that you have succeeded it could be a funny story related to that particular thing for example if 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 you're going to buy a, if you are going to talk about uh, if you're going to talk about how did you overcome overcame in this way let's put it in this way how did you how did you start waking up early so for example if you were sleeping late why were you sleeping late when you were waking when you were trying for example if you are struggling to wake up early in the morning what was your struggle so when you talk about when you want to convey this message and connecting this message to that story it will help people understand so you go back to that moment with when you were struggling when you were failing when you were succeeding that funny incident like you were going to a grocery shop and then you found like in the place of watermelon there was like bananas a funny story a weird funny story when you're sharing those stories and convey connecting that to a content piece that can help people understand in a really I'll, I'll give an example when we talk about automations one example that i commonly use is systems in automation it's pretty weird pretty complex issue pretty complicated in in a way it looks complicated to the children or not to you how can you derive that into a small example a story is uh, back when we had lockdowns like they used they used groceries to come home and when groceries used to come home they used to have that the, the person the person were, the people who used to sell that they never shouted this is like okay i'll just record the whole thing into a piece of uh, a piece of audio and they should have speakers and it's automated automating a business that's a very simple example very simple example so how can you relate that to an experience and examples of like that second thing that we're going to talk about someone else's story first is sharing your stories second one is someone else's story now when when someone else comes into picture you are narrating a story you might probably not have been through that you might not have that story but then you heard a friend narrating a story going through a phase you heard, you have heard families going through that phases you have heard your friends going through that phases like you take that gist of it because we are always learning stuff the, everything we always revolve around a story so we derive the concepts of it we can explore the moment and narrate to your audience so that whenever you are talking about a piece of content having a layer of story it helps them it helps it helps you to make sure that it, the topic goes and lands with me the second part the third part is an interesting part of it is again it go it connects back to the first one your journey your struggles your challenges your adversities your obstacles for example uh, if i am creating a course if i am working on an email sequence if i am creating a funnel there was days when i had no idea how funnel operates i had no idea how to connect and integrate and talk to people and communicate with people and uh, and collect the payment and ask for the sale ask like uh, can i can take money from you i had no idea how you i used to do this stuff so when you share when you're sharing a piece of content and connect that with the story that you've already been through connect that book also now 
moving on to the fourth point which will which will kind of sum up the whole thing will be the fourth thing here will be you are not going to narrate the story like this on the first day it's it is it just it's just not practical practice no. practice over time will make your story crisper and crisper and crisper you cannot just narrate a story and be great at what you're doing it just doesn't make sense but when you just keep on practicing how how am i going to pose how am i going to present this piece of content and how how can i what type of story should i bring into the picture and that is going to connect with your audience be it a webinar be it a workshop be it, be it, be it any sort of communication that you're doing any sort of presentation you do these three things are going to help you that said you don't need certifications for this one okay you don't need certifications for running a workshop webinar or stuff like that you, you, certifications are for skills you don't need you already have skills what certifications are not going to talk about bond connection with the audience stuff like that what is going to create an impact credibility is why are you sharing this piece of content with the student that being said drop your comments drop not comments drop in learning down in section below and see you in an next video